A new study shows promise for those getting vaccinated when it comes to long-term side effects from COVID. New specialist Dan Rascone is covering this story and joins us live. Dan, what does the study show? Well, the study is out of the UK. And basically what it's showing here is that those that have been vaccinated have a lot less or less, less likely to get long-term symptoms from COVID if they have some kind of a breakthrough case of the virus. For one long hauler, she would love nothing more than some relief from what she's going through right now. Tanya is off to yet another doctor's appointment. This one, a treatment in the hyperbaric oxygen chamber. The 46-year-old mother of three is a two-time survivor of COVID. I can't walk today. The first case, April of 2020. Seems like I'm getting a little worse tonight. The second, last December. To have COVID again. I remember just laying in my bed crying and saying I can't do this again. Unfortunately, she still can't rid herself of some of the dreadful symptoms, fatigue, tremors, and respiratory issues. Getting worse and never getting better. And it was, it was so hard. Before COVID, Tanya was a vibrant wife and mother, an active photographer running her own business. Now she can't even carry the groceries into her house. It was so awful and I would go to every doctor and every specialist and no one could tell me what was wrong. Tanya only wishes a vaccine was available before she got COVID. According to a new study out of the UK, people who are vaccinated are half as likely to have long-term symptoms if they get a breakthrough case of COVID. That's out of a survey of 1.2 million adults. I think this is another reason to advocate for patients to get vaccinated. Jeanette Brown is a medical director for the Comprehensive COVID Clinic at the U. It's hard to say with, uh, that we've had that trend just yet, um, but um, given their data, I think it's, you know, it's consistent to say that, you know, less likely to be a long hauler if you've been vaccinated. Yeah, right now, what they're saying, too, is in regards to this survey, you have to take into consideration that there are those who may not answer all the questions there. So the data not, may not be complete, according to some of the medical professionals out there. As for Tanya, she's doing everything she can. She believes she's getting some help to maybe relieve uh, some of those symptoms that she's still experiencing.